welcome everyone to the original conference championship game. There's simply nothing quite like the intensity when an SEC title is on the line. All the legendary players, the epic moments who have made their mark on this occasion. The intensity is simply unmatched. Can't wait for this one. There's a lot more at stake than a championship trophy here today. There's playoff positioning and potentially just getting into the playoff on the line as well. So the stakes have never been higher. And we'll see the number 14 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers. Taking on the second-ranked team, the LSU Tigers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The kickoff team is out there, and here we go. A conference championship on the line right now. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the LSU Tigers offense comes on the field first today. And this quarterback, of course, Kirk, he's the guy that stirs the drink for this team. We're talking about the total package. He runs it, produces it, directs it, acts out all the scenes. He's the whole package. I love a quarterback who understands the ins and outs of a football game. This kid plays like he wrote the manual. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Well, this guy's got some wiggle, and you can see there he's got some power. He's able to break through one arm tackle, but the secondary comes up to finish him off. Second down play coming up for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. Solid game there, moves the ball up to the 32. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this and be a great complement to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat in the SEC. Now it's second down here. Completion on first down, looking to throw it again. Running back grabs it on a screen. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. I love early in a game like this where you get the running back involved. You just get his hands on the football. Also, nice, easy screen. Gets the quarterback settled into the game. Nice, easy throw. And look at this. It ends up being a huge play. Completion makes it second down. It's a draw to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. How about the defense on this play right here? Because they go with a draw play to try to take an advantage of an aggressive defense. It's pinning their ears to get upfield. But instead, it was almost like the defense was expecting the run. They're not surprised at all. They make a great play. That's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Chris, they don't hit this pass, but I love the approach here as a play caller. Taking a shot and being aggressive. Getting that ball downfield. Stretching that defense. Try to keep those safeties back. It can open up other aspects of your offense. The Missouri Tigers offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. First down here for this offense. He'll hand it off. He's found some room at the 45. That's a big gain across midfield all the way to the opponent's 35. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Well, the big fellas, Kirk, flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge gain. 
Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right, and then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big game in the first down. First set of downs, it's first and ten. Heavy blitz look here, pre-snap. Takes the handoff, and he'll head left. He'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And now they run the draw play. Defense able to stop him. It's fourth down now. The coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. This will be a 39-yard attempt. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Grab behind the line. It's Watkins. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit, the swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Offense will try to convert a third and long to a 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Scanning the field. It's Nussmeyer. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. Catch made down inside the 25. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Last possession produced a field goal. No doubt they're thinking touchdown this time. Here's the first play of the drive. They'll set up from the 13. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, if somebody talks about a play being blown up, this is a great example of that. That's exhibit A for how to be physical on defense. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Then he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. Try to catch the defense with the draw. And he will make the first down. Tackled at the 26. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium. A lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution, and they pick up the first down. 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. There's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. It's LSU on top as we take a break for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to win a first down play. Dropping back. It's Cook. Caught over the middle. That's a quick tackle, but they pick up solid yardage on that short throw. That completion makes it second and medium. D coordinator showing heavy blitz pre-snap. Finds room at the 30. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Missouri getting set for the first and 10 coming up. They touch the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. No pin and pull there to the left. Got space, looking to score. Tackled down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. Look, I realize when any play call comes properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the defense wraps him up. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. There's the handoff. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. Methodical but effective. Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in the conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so the score is 10-7 now. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll change the pre-snap look now. They're going to run it here. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game. So second and six. Gonna run it. It's Jackson. And they'll force him out of bounds after a short run. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with are defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. That's exactly what we saw right there. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. A new set of downs after that completion. Well, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in a process, the catch is made for a huge pickup. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. On 
This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Delivers quickly to the left side. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. No surprise there, Kirk. It's a red zone touchdown to the big tight end. Well, the tight ends are usually much more involved down in the red zone because of their size and their skill set allows them to be more effective down in this area. Now, they may not hurt you on the big, long throw, but they can use their bodies to provide the quarterback a nice target when the defense is so condensed. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point is good, so it's 14-10 now. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the 25. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. Each offense has been clicking, scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. So the first play of the drive coming up here, under three minutes to play before half. They'll run it out of the shotgun. The game moves the ball to a 34. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And the same runner has got it again. Breaks loose at the 45. An explosive play across midfield all the way to the 41. The offense operating at peak efficiency. Come to the line again. Well, Chris, that's a combination of really good blocking and outstanding patience by the back. He went they hit him behind the line, and out comes the football. Offense with a crucial fumble recovery. Wow, that's just big-time awareness by his teammate to be able to scoop up that ball like it was a ground ball. As a result, the offense retains possession. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. That's the two-minute warning in this close first half. The offense trying to score and clean the lead before the break. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. So here we go. First play of the drive. Under two minutes before halftime. They're going to run it. Well, that's why you do ball security drills almost every single day in practice. You just can't put the ball on the turf like that. But give credit to the defender for the hit. That's what caused the fumble. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw. It's Cook. It's a quick grab. They make the tackle, but not before. A solid gain on that pass. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. It's second down after that completion. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, 
Here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Offense getting set up, here's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Now it's third and short from the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Pressure is coming. And they've got him again. That ferocious pass rush back to back sacks. They just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. They will trust the kicker here from 55 yards out. Let's see if he can get it there. And he makes it. Wow, from 55 yards out. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, for many, this is the best conference in all of football. And the first half of this SEC championship was filled with excitement and incredible pageantry. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who... Once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk and the much-anticipated conclusion of the SEC Championship. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Solid coverage there. They get it at the 15. That's when the offense will take over. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. Aggressive call, a deep shot on first down, but incomplete. Well, they come out firing here to start this second half. They didn't make this completion, but I think it sends a clear message to this defense that the adjustments that this offense is going to make is that they're going to be aggressive and they're going to look for their one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Offense getting set. It's second down. And they'll run it with the draw play. They'll tackle him out across the 20. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Third down coming up after that running play. Back to pass. It's Cook. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Solid gain there. Moves the ball up to the 32. Nice play here. We'll have to see if this defense stays in man coverage after giving up that big play. Missouri getting set with a first and ten now. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. 
but they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Second down play coming up. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Caught quickly. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Well, they get positive yards here, but you have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitch and catch. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down. Pulls it in. It's Burden. Physical run earns the first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. First down to 10 now. try the ground game here with the running back and the broken tackle there produces a solid game you know a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact but that wasn't the case there instead of running around the defender this back elected to run right through it the game makes it second and medium here's the handoff he stopped, but he gets a first down. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. This is becoming a long drive. Here's play number nine. And we're going to throw now on first down. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. The long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Hand off to the right side. Seven-yard game sets up a third and three. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. So now on comes the field goal unit. Well, this defense just hasn't had many answers for this running back. Guy's already over 100 yards on the afternoon, but give him credit there. He made a nice play in the backfield. And he knocks it right through the uprights. And with that, they retake the lead. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. on the drive, and now the kickoff team will leave it away. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. The last position, they coughed it up, but it only cost them a field goal. First down here for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Caught by the back behind the line of scrimmage. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. And the pass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge game. Took his eye off the ball. Now the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on the third down, but now it brings up fourth. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage, but I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Well, the offense failed earlier in a 4-10 attempt. They'll try it again here. 
He's got it. Enough for a first down. Brought down, but not before he picks up the first down. Nice game. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw again. Running back has it on the screen now. And the tackle is made. Not the big play that we're looking for, but a pretty solid game. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. here on second down to this offense. Handing off on the draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, a lot of times it's a play call where you go to the draw play because you feel the defensive front is just consumed with trying to get pressure on the quarterback. They go with the draw, but the defense is completely locked in. Does a nice job of showing discipline to completely negate the play. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Check this out. Offense going for it inside their own 40. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Complete with the running back. But can he get there? They got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. A risky call here by this offense. I thought the quarterback might wait a little bit longer for him to take his route beyond the sticks, but he gets the ball out of his hands, and how about the job by this receiver to fight for that first down? So after the incompletion, it's second down. Gonna run it. It's Williams. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Man, you know, the back hits a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I'd love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. Nice first down run here by this running back. And these are the kind of situations on third and short that you can gain a lot of momentum or it can kill a drive and kill the confidence of an offense. Here they pick up the nice first down, which is great. New set of downs. But it also... Gives you a lot of confidence that you can wear that defense down psychologically. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. And Kirk is Missouri with the lead here. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. We're set now for the fourth quarter going to make the crucial plays to take home this W. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Receiver makes the catch and they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being and he'll loft it to the end zone. Downfield shot, balls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. The long drive continues. The offense just grinding away here. After the incompletion, QB tried. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Lucky for the junior quarterback that didn't get picked off. That defensive back played that route so well. Right on the receiver's hip, he saw the ball and just swatted it away. Drops back, looking to throw for it. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not hang on for a touchdown. My goodness. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it falls incomplete for a turnover on downs. Oh, so close to executing here on a fourth down play in the fourth quarter. You're really down a possession. Now you're going to rely on your defense to come up with a stop and get your offense back on the field. They'll run it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. 
Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive. Working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can. But the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Tough spot. The offense has to convert a third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. Looking downfield, it's Cook. Go to the sideline, steps out after a short game. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job by the D. That Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they were stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost them anything, and they put together something here. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Oh, the deep ball caught in the 25. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. And he'll set up to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. Tackle made at the 13. But here we go. A red zone opportunity. Oh, that was close. Got just enough for the first down against that man-to-man -man coverage. Good awareness by the receiver to get past the sticks and move the chains. Second down now, every play important down here in the red zone. There's the snap, quarterback setting up to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Touchdown, LSU will take the lead in the second half. Now this is why they love this guy so much, is when it's crunch time, he makes plays like this. And what I love is the quarterback knows, all I gotta do is get the ball in his hands, and he can do the rest of the work and get it all the way to the end zone. Great play. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, anytime a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. First down, looking to throw the ball. Signs with the throw. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. To throw, it's Cook. Looking right, this one caught. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. You give it to the big fullback here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the defense was locked in on that play. They were not surprised at all that the fullback got the ball. He had nowhere to go. They stuffed that play from the beginning. And we've reached now the two-minute warning sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. It's a five-point game. They need a touchdown. They'll keep the offense on the field. Finds his man. Has the first down. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Anytime you're trailing like this in the fourth quarter, of course you've got to go for it on fourth down, and they get it done to extend the drive. Quick completion to the tight end. 
Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Missouri getting set with a first and ten coming up. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Caught over the middle, it's Cooper. And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Come to the line for second down and very short now. Makes a quick catch. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. First down, clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. Look at to chuck it again. Grab down the middle. It's burdened. He picks up the first down, but gets drilled on the tackle. Hey, you get late in a game like this, of course you're going to dial up your best receiver. I love his route running and his speed to be able to get separation from the defender. They better find an answer for this receiver. Otherwise, they're going to go back to him again. Hands off to the left. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, going to the line here with the clock running. Dropping back, it's Cook. Gets made on the out route. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. And the long march continues. Offense pushing the ball down the field. On third down, he drops to throw. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. It's a five-point game. They need a touchdown. They'll keep the offense on the field. They need to convert. He'll drop back. There's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Not much on the return, but they snuck out the drive with the takeaway. Well, that defender deserves the game ball for that game-sealing play. Now all there is to do is run out the clock and walk out of here with a W. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. And it's a kneel down. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. Wow, what a tremendous run these guys have had. And now they can call themselves champions of the SEC. That's one of the most difficult titles to earn in this sport. And now with the playoff looming, they can find out how they fare against the 11 other best teams in the nation. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.